Thank you for joining us. I'm Megan Roop. Evan and Stephanie have the day off. We are now just four hours away from a partial government shutdown. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are racing to find a solution, and it all comes down to money for a border wall. Both sides digging in their heels with no signs of a compromise. It's possible that we'll have a shutdown. I would say the chances are probably very good. The government shutdown could come down to whether Congress will give the funds President Trump is demanding to build his wall. As we reported yesterday, an Iraq veteran has set up a GoFundMe page to build the wall on the southern border, and that page has already raised more than $13 million. Our Pedro Quintana spoke to the veteran and also tells us what the impacts would be if the government shuts down. Pedro. Well, Megan, according to federal officials, national parks like Yosemite, Sequoia, and Kings Canyon would remain open, but some services would be limited. For Brian Colfage, he told me over the phone, if Congress does not want to fund the wall, then the American people will. The clock is ticking for Congress to pass a spending bill to keep the federal government running. Both chambers have until midnight to come up with a plan or a partial government shutdown could happen, which would impact thousands of federal employees. On Thursday, President Donald Trump said he would veto any bill if it did not have $5 billion to fund the construction of a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Americans are just frustrated. We're, we're sick of politicians playing games with us. We, we want this. And uh, Americans are putting their money where their mouth is, and they, they're willing to give their money to show these politicians that we want this wall. Iraq veteran Brian Colfage watched the political drama play out on his TV screen and decided to reach out to other Americans who support the president. Colfage setting up a GoFundMe page, which has raised more than $13 million. I knew it would get really big. I didn't know how big it was going to get. And, I mean, it's been exploded. And I think the reason why it's exploding a little faster than expected is because there's people from both sides of the aisle who are supporting it. Congressman Jim Costa says he's working to make sure the government keeps on running. It also could attack over 420,000 federal employees uh, that will be furloughed. Uh, in other words, they'll be working without pay, and that includes those at our airports. And Congressman Costa says Democrats want a border security but believe the wall would not help the illegal immigration problem. In the studio, Pedro Quintana, KC24, Local News That Matters. Pedro, thank you. The